Back in the trenches with another fuzz video. So last week I did that uh, rig run down there showing my uh, pedal board and what I've been using. Really enjoyed and taken to the uh, smaller wattage amps with some efficient tubes and an efficient speaker. That's a whole lot of fun. I've tried to get out of the pedal thing, but I wanted to put a board together to have one to just put it off to the side. Either way, regardless, you know, with that, there's there's so many natural tones with just the guitar plugged right in. And when you add the pedals, you're really hearing the warm, broken up, uh, crunchy amp kind of affecting those pedals. And I found the the fuzz face or the fuzz style pedal that I was using was a little was a little different. I found myself adjusting some EQ around it. You know, I thought maybe that that would be a great topic to really dial in a fuzz face the right way. But looking down at what I had on the board. You know, it's just, you just got two knobs. You got volume and fuzz. You can't really go crazy. Uh, I wanted something, you know, I figured if something had more functions like a bias knob, an output and a fuzz, then you can kind of get into, you know, tweaking those things and sharing it with you guys and letting you know some some little little tips or tricks that may help. Um, and then, you know, Angel of Mercy, we got a little care package. So I've I've uh, I've messed with some uh, pedals from uh, Sabatius before. Nico's been a great guy, and he's let me demo a few things. And uh, good on the constructive criticism, and he's always looking to do better. And I really appreciate his his products. They're built well. They're strong. And he sent me this 1966 Germanium Fuzz. You know, with the Fuzz twos, you have your your basics. You have your volume or your output, and you have your Fuzz function. And uh, you also have the bias knob to the left, you know, all the way to the left, I find it gets, uh, can sometimes get gated, a little spitty, you can kind of tune in slightly zonk tones, uh, you go full right and you kind of can thin it out a little bit, smooth out those transistors. And then the wah-wah trick, uh, that's really cool, go all the way to the left and you're kind of removing bass. You go to the right and you're really, uh, you're adding bass into there. Uh, it does more than that, but I'm just explaining it to what my ears are picking up. This thing is pretty wild, pretty well built, nice and strong, nice and sturdy, great, great knobs for aesthetics. Uh, one thing to note that uh, though they are germanium, not all of these fuzz will be using the same transistors uh, going by the paperwork Nico sent with this. So that really, you know, leaves the options uh, quite open. You can, you can get a multitude of sounds. Uh, I think that's really cool. And hey, collect them all. You know, you never know which one's gonna be your favorite transistor. Uh, initial, the video you're gonna watch is just me pulling it out of the box, placing it down, putting a battery in it and firing up. That was my first initial test. So there's some normal sounds, me just blowing it up and typical audio. I know that everybody complains about the audio, but I just do the best I can. I kind of keep it very underground, very basic very simple and straightforward there's not a lot of production here but it's just a, a really really great fuzz and it kind of rivaled what the mjm fuzz uh does and what my old germanium fuzz does i really like a warm big woofy fuzz now i'll get into talking about this a little bit in the video i won't do too much talking but uh i just dial it in the way i like it and towards the end there the last three minutes or so you'll really see me dial in this fuzz for what I'm looking for. Uh, and it's just, a, it's just a great product. So you're gonna hear some sounds, initial test hit, me messing with the knobs. And then, uh, yeah, at the end, I just kind of dial it into what I favor. But it's a great fuzz, you know. For the test amp, uh, low wattage beast, we're just using a 1959 DA20, whole lots of fun. And we're using the reverb unit on top. <laughs> Wow. 
Thank <laughs> you. 